Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. Today in this video, we are going to learn Control Shortcuts of Computer. We will learn these control shortcuts from alphabet A to Z. And I am sure after learning these shortcuts, you will be able to do most of your tasks on computer very easily. So make sure to watch the entire video. So students, first shortcut is Control A. Function of Control A is Select All. It means if you press Control A on your keyboard, then all of your content would be selected. Let me show you this. Look here. When I have pressed Control A on my keyboard, then all of my content has got selected. Now next shortcut is Control B. Function of Control B is to bold the selected text. Like here, if I have to make this word memory bold, then I will select this word and press Ctrl B. As you can see here, the word memory is bold now. So this is the function of Ctrl B. Third shortcut key is Ctrl C. Ctrl C is used to copy the selected text. Like here, if I want to copy this line, I will select it and then press Ctrl C. The line will be copied. Now next control shortcut is Ctrl V. Now students, whatever text you have copied, you can paste it using Ctrl V. Like previously, we had copied this selected line. Now let's paste this line in the second paragraph. So to do this, I will put the cursor here in the second paragraph and press Ctrl V. See, the copied line has got pasted here using Ctrl V. Now next is Ctrl X. Ctrl X is used to cut the selected text. Like here, I want to cut this red line and paste it in the second para. So I will select this line and press Ctrl X. Once we have cut this line, we can now paste it anywhere using Ctrl V. Like here, I have pasted this cut line in the second paragraph. Now next control shortcut is Ctrl D. Ctrl D is used to open font window. Like here, if I press Ctrl D, then this font window has opened. Next is Ctrl E. It is used to align the text to the center. Like here, if I want to align this heading to the center, I will select it and press Ctrl E. So, this heading has been aligned to the center using Ctrl E. Let's move to next control shortcut. It is Ctrl F. Ctrl F is used to find the text. Like here, if I want to find word computer in this document. So I will press Ctrl F and write word computer here. So as you can see, it has highlighted the word computer everywhere in this 
text. Next control shortcut is control G. It is used to open go to option under find and replace window. Like here, if I press control G, then this find and replace window is open and this is go to option. Now suppose you have a long document and you want to go to page number 2. So I will just write 2 here and press this go to. So it will take me to page number 2. Next is control H. Control H is used to find and replace the text. Suppose I want to replace the word computer with laptop in this text. So I will press Control H. It will open Find and Replace window. See, this time Replace option is selected. So now here I will say Find what? Word computer. And replace with word laptop. And then I will press replace all. So it will replace the word computer everywhere in this text with word laptop. Next control shortcut is control I. It is used to change the text in italics. Like here, if I want to change this heading computer system in italics, I will press Ctrl I and see this text is in italics now. Now next control shortcut is Ctrl J. It is used to justify. Let me show you what does it mean. Students, look at this paragraph. Here, one line is ending here, another line is ending here, next line is ending here. Now, if I want all the lines to end at the same position, so what to do? I will select the entire paragraph and press Ctrl J. Now, if you notice carefully, you will see all the lines are ending at the same position. So, this is known as justify. Next is control K. It is used to insert a hyperlink. Like, if I want to make this heading hyperlinked, so I will select it. And press Ctrl K. It opens this insert hyperlink window. And here I can make the hyperlink and just click OK. See, the hyperlink has been inserted on this heading. Next shortcut is Ctrl L. What it does? It aligns the text to the left. Like if I select this text and press Ctrl L. It has aligned the text to the left. Next shortcut is Ctrl M. It is used to indent the paragraph. Let me show you what does it mean. Here if I select this paragraph and press Control M. See, it has indent this paragraph. So, this is the use of Control M. Next is Control N. It is used to create a new document. Like here, I have pressed Control N. See, a new document has been created. Document 1. Students, if you use Ctrl N on a browser, it will open a new tab. Now we have Ctrl O. 
it opens a document here i have pressed control o so it is showing me open window and now i can open any of the document stored in my computer like here if i click on this document this document has opened next is control p it is used to print the document like here i have pressed control p so this print window has opened and now i can print this document from here next we have control q it is used to remove paragraph formatting let me show you look at these three paragraphs the first one is right align second one is center align and this third paragraph is indented now if i select all these three paragraphs and i press control q c the formatting of all these three paragraphs has been removed so this is the use of control q and it's a good shortcut to remember next shortcut is control r it aligns the text to the right like here if i want to align this paragraph to the right so i will select it and press control r so it has aligned the paragraph to the right now next is control s it is used to save the document i'm sure you all must be using this shortcut next is control plus g it is used to create a hanging indent let me show you how if i select this paragraph and press control plus g now this paragraph is indented but it is a hanging indent the first line of this paragraph is not indented so this is hanging indent which we can do using control t next control shortcut is control u it is used to underline the text like here if i want to underline this heading i will select it and press control u so it has underlined this text now we have control w it is used to close the document like here if i press control w it has closed this document now we have control y and control z control y is for redo and control z is for undo like if i have written something like notebook and i press control z so it will undo this now if i press control y again i have got the word notebook here so these were all the shortcuts of control with alphabets from a to z if you practice these shortcuts you will be able to do your work much faster thanks for watching this video do share my channel and my videos with your friends and family bye bye see you in the next video